Thank you. For the debate, the member for Trinity Spadina. Happy to have this opportunity to uh, to speak uh, uh, to Bill 158. I I will tell you right off the bat, I'll be opposing it and opposing it aggressively. And I have to tell you that I, I don't doubt the sincerity uh, of uh, the the motion or the the sincerity of the of the leader in his desire to create uh, well-paying jobs. I just don't think their plan does that. When he speaks about the loss of good-paying uh, jobs, many of those good-paying jobs were unionized, something this party is aggressively attacking from, for, for, for years, and they will continue attacking unions for years to come. Those good, well-paying jobs were unionized. And he speaks about good-paying jobs that we have lost, and what would he do to replace them? I don't have a clue, and I, I want to speak to that. Not once does he talk about the free trade agreement or the North America free trade agreement. Not once, and you will recall my good buddy uh, Mulroney with his uh, mellifluous voice talking about the millions of jobs that would, pre that would be created once this free trade agreement would be, uh, would be in place. Where are those jobs? Where have they gone? Where they, they, left, they, they left the country and they left North America and they went into Asia for the most part, but not once does the leader of the official opposition talk about how those good paying jobs left North America, left Canada, not once. And we're about to engage uh, with, with the Europeans with a comprehensive trade economic agreement, something the Tories are about to institute again. I'm telling you, we're going to lose more good-paying jobs. And I know what your special interest is. It's the multinational corporation. That's your special interest. But not once do you talk about your special interest, friends. Not once. Not once. You talk about lowering taxes. It's a, it's a spent idea. You talk about lowering corporate taxes, it's spent. It's an old idea. You guys need to move on. Mike Harris gave enough of that. The Liberals gave enough of that because they've helped you with four and a half billion dollars. In fact, they proudly say, we cut corporate taxes helping you. And they say, we, together we together on this, we are, we are creating jobs. But we don't see those jobs. They're part-time jobs. They're contract jobs. Your strategies, yours and theirs, have not worked. Worked. The jobs are not there. You cannot lower taxes and get the jobs we need. The evidence is clear. It's not there. You talk about getting rid of the bureaucratic red tape. It doesn't work. And we saw in the 2008 financial fiasco in America that caused a worldwide fiasco. That was the elimination of regulations that some of us call red tape. And God bless Canada that we have a little more red tape than the Americans because it saved us a little more than it saved the Americans. My friends, red tape is not the problemo. A little red tape helps to save our economy from the ravages of what, uh, what the American financial institutions did. Lowering corporate taxes will not do it. There is no evidence that the good paying jobs have arrived as a result. Absolutely no evidence. And the Liberals having you helped out, having helped you out with that, hasn't helped at all. So you're uh, when you talk about the special interest groups, talk about your investor friends. Talk about your multinational friends with the, with the big box, the pecunia, your champagne capitalists. Talk about those kinds of friends with whom you meet on a regular basis and with whom you have a very close, close relationship. You never talk about them. If you want good jobs, think about what New Democrats have proposed. It might help uh, your, uh, you, uh, some of you a little bit. But the whole idea of going after job training and saying we're going to create 250,000 jobs, a number you pull out of the hat, is it's inane. Over, sure. It is utterly inane. It makes absolutely no sense. There is no evidence for that. And your whole idea of a million job strategy, it is not only fanciful, it's farcical. The invention of such a number makes people think you guys are not 
fit for the job. Here, here. Thank you. The member for Etobicoke North. Thank you.